Hey guys, what is good? Welcome to the show. It's Baker. It's Lulu. We're back. And guys, today we're back in the developer build, showing you guys some new stuff that's coming to Clash. And we've gone over a lot of this stuff. We've shown you some defenses. We've shown you a new town hall. We've shown you some walls, some crazy stuff. But today, I think is by far the best, guys. We're showing you some of the new offensive stuff, and you know, you, sh you should have assumed that this was coming, right? Like, we've, we've talked about a couple of things, but you didn't hear it all, but you knew it was coming. Anytime you get a new town hall level, you get a new lab, and in that lab is so many new levels of things. Guys, we're gonna check some of it out today, and you know, there's so much going on here. I may miss some things that you guys may see, and you know, let us know in the comments below if you see anything we miss. First of all, have you guys seen these, these army camps? Like. If this isn't the first video you've you've seen on this sneak peek, you've probably seen these. These look so rad. Like what is what is that? It's like a campfire made of metal. Okay, cool. Uh, and then there's rocks around it. I love it, guys. It's totally it looks totally new from from the uh, previous versions, but it kind of does fit with everything, especially these walls that are sort of stone with. I guess metal or something on the bottom, gold, whatever, and, and and the defenses as well. So it's pretty cool, guys. I, I love it. The only thing that really doesn't fit in for me so far is like these expos. What? You, what's up? What are you doing? Is Town Hall 13 gonna be pink? Is that that's what's up? Okay, guys, uh, let's keep going throughout the base though. I don't want to spend too much time on one thing because there's so much to cover. Let me just go in here into the barracks and like you can see, uh, what like. What? Look at how many things have a new level, guys. I'm gonna start out here with, you know, barbs, of course, great. Were they level eight before? I can't even remember, dude. It's, there's so much that's happened recently. I can't even remember it all now, but I do know that the giants, uh, hey, <laughs> you're, you're at uh, 1660 now. And guys, uh, that's insane. Look at some of these bigger, bigger troops. Like we, we heard about uh, the witch was getting buffed and you can see her like, yeah, this thing's gonna be nuts. Um, the bowler, I can't wait to use that bowler. Bowlers have been the best troop for a long time now, in, in their own right. Like, sure, you gotta use other stuff with it, but bowlers are just so easy to use and so good. And if you give them another level, they're gonna be even crazier. Um, what else do we have? Valkyries, you you got a new level, right? I can't, I can't even remember now, dude. It, there's so much like packed in my head, I can't even remember. Uh, hogs are gonna be amazing. Packers are going to be amazing. I know they got a new level and they probably needed it. And something I want to show you guys, I noticed earlier, look, the P.E.K.K.A. now has 610. And remember, this could be not final. It could be more or less. But the P.E.K.K.A. now does 600 damage per second. And oh, hey, here's a level 60 queen. Check out what she does, man. 658. So we're talking over 600 damage per second for both of these things. And I, has anything done that before? Like, I don't think so. All right, dudes, let's check it out. So I'm going to go in here and do this. The first thing I want to do, I want to see that queen, that level 60 queen, that new max queen up against a P.E.K.K.A. A new max P.E.K.K.A. Level eight versus level 60 queen. This is going to be pretty crazy. And like, I expect the P.E.K.K.A. to win. But I mean, this queen's going to put up a serious fight. I think we got to do, do it up against the king as well after this. But let's just see what happens. Boom. Oh, my God. It's not even a question. Oh my god, but it's only because the the P.E.K.K.A has so much health, right? If the P.E.K.K.A didn't have, you know, a million, whatever it has, it has so much more health than the Queen. That's the only thing, but I bet if you put it up against the King, I think it's gonna be a different story. Let's just check that out real quick. I think this is a good way of like checking out these new troops, and after we do this, we'll do an actual raid, but let's just hit it up against the King, hang on. Alright guys, this should be good now, let me see. It kept bugging out and it wasn't... Yeah, we're good now. Okay, this is gonna be dope. So guys, we're gonna take the uh, P.E.K.K.A., the new P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna wait until the king gets out. So there's no question. They're gonna face off at the same time. Let's just see what happens. And then I'm just gonna start the raid. Like after that happens, I'm just gonna start to raid the base. So we'll just uh, drop everything. So here we go. You guys ready for this? Boom! 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 I can Wow! Who's gonna win this? The P.E.K.K.A. Oh, dude, I think one more hit that the, the, the King was about to get would have made that incredibly close. Like, it was incredibly close as it was, but I think that would have been even closer. Guys, look at these new golems, by the way. They look so dope. So I don't really have any wizards. I have one. So I'm just going to drop P.E.K.K.A.s to clear the troops. I mean, clear the buildings. And then in the middle, I guess I'm going to just drop some giants. What? <laughs> Dude, I love this update. This is so cool, man. Did you see those giants? They look so awesome. 
So we don't really need wall beggars anymore as much because we have the little dude, the, um, what do you call it? The siege machine thing, whatever you call it. Um, and that thing just charges in there and just puts in work. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna get that thing in there. Let me um, dump the troops, drop the clone, drop the rage. I don't have any poison, but it doesn't matter. We've got a bunch of clone troops in there. Uh, let me hit the warden ability. Keep everybody going for six seconds, by the way. Like six seconds is pretty crazy. And then we're gonna go, um, I guess we have a couple of hogs here. I wanna drop those things and see what they can do as well. So I can actually drop them right there. Can I see them though? What do they look like? Cause that's a new level of hogs, right? What was it, level eight? Dude, my mind is just like so messed up from all these new levels of stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a new level. And uh, you know, it's hard to tell with just five of them, but they look pretty sick, look pretty sick. So guys, um, oh, oh, this is a good face off right here. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, buddy, that was sick. So look, we still got some golemites here. How are they doing? They look pretty rad, just like the uh, just like the big golem does. And the giants, I am so psyched on those giants that they have those. Well, I mean, they have like armor now, like they should have this whole time. Like they've just been giants walking around in like fur coats or whatever. It was weird. Like give them. Some, I mean, I guess they had those like um, uh, bracelets or whatever steel. What are they? Brass knuckles, whatever they are. I guess they had those for a while now, but. Um, Oh man, the queen just got housed. <laughs> I didn't even see it. But I guess those pekkas came around the outside and just, just housed that. So, I want to point out, guys, that, I mean, except for the, the king and the queen being on the edge of the base here, this was a crazy max base. And we just cruised through it with no forethought. Like, I just dropped troops and this happened. Okay, the only thing was we didn't have any clan castle troops on defense. So maybe we could try that, but I mean, what? I think it's the heroes, man. I think the heroes are just gonna dominate this update. I think the level 60 heroes are gonna be, I'm not gonna say too strong or whatever, but I mean, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, and also the free spell getting changed and the clone, I guess, to a lesser extent, uh, those are gonna be way more useful now. They're gonna be way more easy to put into an army. Even just one freeze is gonna be almost a necessity at this point, right? Like it's so easy to bring one freeze now. So. I'm psyched, man. Let's do it again. All right, dude. So obviously my favorite... Oh, crap. I forgot to put the, the heroes back in. Whatever. My favorite thing so far in this update is this siege machine. This thing that busts in for you. It breaks the walls for you. And it gets your troops, your clan castle troops, into the middle. So this time, guys, we're going to take it a little more seriously. We're going to drop the golems. Boom, boom. I'm going to drop that P.E.K.K.A. What's up? Boom. Oh, that Wiz looks so dope. Wow. See, it looked different in the... Okay. Yeah. I think there was a glitch, like, visually. It didn't look like that when we first saw it in the uh, in the army camps. So, I'm gonna drop a heal spell here because we're, you know, getting beat up by that whiz tower. By the way, <laughs> that whiz tower is crazy. Um, and what do we want to do next, guys? Oh! Oh, crap! Um, okay, freeze, I guess? Uh... <laughs> Rage, I guess? I don't even know anymore. Uh, okay, let's dump the clan castle. Boom. Freeze again, rage again, and I'm gonna heal. I'm just gonna drop everything all at once. Where's my king? I don't even know. Oh, he's down there. That's good. Cool, buddy. Okay, so we've got a bunch more troops. It's kind of dumb to do this, but <laughs> I've got this spawn hole here, so I'm just gonna drop them all in there. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm just getting bashed so fast because I didn't have any spells or anything to help them out. So that was kind of a weird, you know, very weird way to drop those final troops but we'll do that uh in a you know normal way next time i sort of forgot to drop those but yeah as you can see having that 40 space clan castle in defense is definitely gonna make a difference this made such a difference like if we had dropped our troops normally we would have done better but i don't know if we would gotten quite as close to a three star like we did last time which was very close and plus if we had the queen in that would have made a lot of difference too like the queen would have been right here right i think so yeah. So let's try it one more time, guys. We're going to raid from a different place. Okay, yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> that golem did nothing. Great. Uh, let's go back and start this over, guys. We still got 50% two stars, but it's nuts. Let's go. Okay, I think I got the base back together. Let me try it again. Okay, right here. Boom, 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 boom. 
Hi, what's up? So let's get in here. We're going to do the similar thing. Just drop three golems. Boom, boom. I think I have some whiz. No, I have two. What's up with me and whiz today, dude? I, I just bring two. That's great. Good job, Beak. So let's drop the uh, witches sort of as not clearing troops, but sort of. And a uh, same thing with the uh, the bowlers. So without wall breakers, we're pretty much relying on that guy, the siege. So, uh oh, he's going to bust out. Ah! Okay, so we got to get a heal spell down. We've got to freeze. Oh, OK, 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 OK. Boom. As soon as those freeze wear off, I'm going to hit the warden ability. Let's check it out. Hang on. Boom. OK, awesome. So that helped us get the. Uh... Oh, oh, keep going. Keep going. Sh Shadow Pekka. No. Oh, no, the Shadow Pekka. <laughs> Crap, dude. I was putting so much faith in you, Shadow Pekka. And again, guys, I forgot to drop three of the Pekkas. I can't believe I keep doing this. I, I scroll over and I don't notice that I didn't drop them. So um, I can try to get them in there, but I don't know if that's going to work. I guess it will. I guess it will. We can see them in action, like, just banging on a wall and how fast they go through. Oh, they look so sick. Look at their noses. It looks really spooky. They've got a little, like, mask on, and it looks really weird and freaky. And did I mention weird? But guys, again, we did really well this time, considering, you know, we messed up deploying the troops, as always. But uh, it worked really, really well. I mean, this may not be the best base design, it's just the generic base that they put in with the dev build here, but this was cool. I'm glad we got to see this. Now, the Pegas are still going on, but getting bashed by every single thing in this base is going to take them out pretty quick. They're probably going to get one more. Oh, just barely clearing 69%. What's good? So, guys, that is going to be it for today. Let us know what you guys thought about this, what you're thinking about this. I mean, it's just awesome. I love it. Um, I can't wait to see how this all shakes up and, you know, if this is going to make people more excited about Clash than a normal update, because I feel like this is this is even better than the Town Hall 11 update. Like that one was kind of weird. I, I felt really mixed about that one because um, it sort of made Clash harder. You know, we got the new defenses and everything, but it wasn't in a super fun way. And I feel like this update has made some new things coming to Clash, like the Siege Machine and all that. And it has made Clash stepped up, like the game has stepped up, but it seems fun, if not more fun than before. For me, anyway, I think it's going to be great. So let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. Let's go back to base. So, hey, we'll see you tomorrow at like some ungodly early hour. We'll see you then. Peace.